Hello everyone, this is Pippin Williamson with PippinsPlugins.com, and in today's plugin review, I'm going to be taking you through Search WP. This is a relatively new plugin from Jonathan Christopher, and it basically, its, its main goal is to make WordPress searching awesome. So if you've used the search functions in WordPress before, you know that you might have mixed results. Sometimes they work perfectly fine, sometimes they're really poor, if you want to do things like search custom post types or search custom fields or things like that, the default WordPress search can be really limiting. So search WP is a plugin that makes searching in WordPress. Well, to put it this way, really awesome. Uh, I've had a chance to test the plugin out, really use it and put it through its paces. And I have to say that it's absolutely top notch in what it does. So it's available from searchwp.com. It's a relatively uh, inexpensive plugin at about $24 for a single site. You also have multiple site options as well as a developer's license. Um, a couple other things about the plugin, first of all, the documentation for it is fantastic. It's very thoroughly documented. Um, if you have questions as well, the support form is active. Jonathan is very prompt to res respond to, to queries. Uh, a, a quick look over the support form, form confirmed that. So first of all, search WP, Let's go ahead and jump right in. So after we have the plugin activated, we have a new setting screen called search WP. And we go here and we see a screen about like this. What search WP allows us to do is really create a search engine. So the standard WordPress search works by simply looking at the content and the titles of your posts and pages, and basically just does a quick, um, a, a like search. So if you search for the word blog, it's going to search for anything that has a title with blog in it or has blog in the post content. So search WP allows you to change that so that you can search by the title, the content, the slug, the categories that are on a post, the tags on a post or a page, the excerpt, the comments, or even custom fields. It also allows us to include custom post types as well as media files in our search results as well as much more. So Let's do something really simple first. Let's say we only want to be able to search in our post and leave it at that. So we're only going to search in our post. So first of all, we'll just save our changes and let's go over here and just type in sailing. Okay. We found our search result. Fantastic. If we go back, you'll see that we have a post right here called going sailing. Um, we also see that this post has a word in here called social. So we'll just search for social. Okay, that's fantastic. It found it. So this is nothing groundbreaking. This is just decent search results. Okay, let's make it a lot better. Let's now say that we also want to include books in our search results. So we can go over here. This is actually a list of all of the custom post types that were found on your website. So we enable our books post type and let's just leave it at that and go to save changes. Now let's go in here real quick and look at the different books that we have. So we'll go over here to books. And we see here's one called test book. So let's just go ahead and search for test book. Well, the first thing that you notice is that test book was found in the search results. So the reason why that's great is because default WordPress search is not going to include that post type inside the search results normally. Let's disable books just to prove that that post type is no longer searched. Do the same thing and we don't find it. Okay, so we'll re-enable books. Let's enable events downloads and pages as well. Okay. So now inside of events, let's go take a look at something that we have in there and we have a social dinner. Okay. So social dinner, let's search for social again. Now notice it found social dinner and it also found going sailing. So going sailing that post actually has a word social at the bottom of it and social dinner has social in the title. So it found both of those. That's great. Okay, now let's modify this a little bit. We can actually weight the content types to say which one is more important in terms of our search results. So by default for post, the title is the most important thing. The content is, the, is less important. And so if we look here real quick at the definition of weight, it simply means we're gonna add weight to the results. So weight of one is neutral, anything above and beyond that increases the weight. What the weight really means is that if a search result is found in the content, that's going to be more important than something that has a search result found in the title if content has a higher weight. Okay, 
So let's weight our, con our content to 11 for post and for book or events, let's weight our content five and our title down here as well. So now, if I did this right, okay. So we can actually, we can weight our, what's really, really important for us to see which is more, um, what's going to be the primary fields that we're searching for and what we want to be more important. Okay, now we can make this even better. This is really cool. Let's say we don't want anything with the tag of tag two to be found. First of all, let's go in and find posts that have a tag of two. So we'll go in here to post. Okay, going sailing has a tag number two. So we'll just search for sailing. Okay, I found that post, that's great. Now we decide that if a post has tag two, we don't want that post to show up in search results. Maybe tag two is our tag that we define for excluding from search. Refresh, and you'll notice it's now gone because it has excluded that from search results. We can do the same thing with categories. So I only have one category, so it only pops up with uncategorized. We don't really want to exclude that because everything is under uncategorized at the moment. Okay, notice something else that's really cool here. We can search in comments, and we can even search in custom fields. So if you add a custom field, it's now gonna give you a list of all of these different fields that we have in here. Um, and that's really, really great. If you're storing some sort of custom metadata, uh, for example, let's say that you, are, you want to build, uh, you have documentation on your site and you use a custom field to store the WordPress version that it's related to or any other metadata related to the search documents. You can actually allow that, that field to be searched in via the custom fields right here, which is really slick. Okay, um, beyond that, there's not a whole lot to show simply because the plugin is really, really just excellent. Um, one of the things that I really like about it is that it's very simple to use and there's not tons and tons of screens and settings or anything that you need to do. A really important thing to note is that this works out of the box. You install the plugin and you're done. The, the default search boxes used throughout your site automatically work. You don't have to do anything else to them. There's no modifying template files. There's no putting short codes on pages. They just work as is. Now, let's talk about a couple of the extensions they have. So when you purchase it, you get free access to the extensions. And here's the ones they have right now. They have BBPress integration, which if you use BBPress forms, it will allow it to search forms and topics and replies as well. So in your search results right here, it will list those which BBPress turns off by default. Uh, Boolean search, this is really, really cool. Uh, it basically allows your users to fine tune their search results. So let's say that I want to search, let's, let's go back and search social again. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to disable my tag exclusion. Okay, so I've searched social and I have both of these two items. Now, let's say that I wanna limit this a little bit. I wanna fine tune it. And I don't want anything that has the word sailing in it. I put a space, I type a minus sign and it type sailing. And now it excludes anything that has sailing in the search results. So let me demonstrate this a little bit better. Search for sailing, I find that. Search for social, I find both of those. Now I want social, but not sailing as well. And there we go. That's what the Boolean search does. It's very, very cool. Fuzzy matches simply make search, uh, search terms, matching search terms, et cetera, a little bit more lenient. And then the term archive priority um, allows you to set the priority for terms. That one I have not played with. I have played with the BB press and the Boolean search and both are fantastic. And note, these extensions come free of charge with your license purchase which is fantastic. So when you purchase the $24 plugin for a single site, you're actually getting that plugin plus all of these extensions plus future extensions, which is pretty great. Um, the other thing that's really awesome in Search WP is the supplemental search engines. And this, I'm not gonna go into too, too much detail about this, um, just explain quickly how they work. First of all, your settings are the exact same thing up here. So you can set up to search post, pages, downloads, books, et cetera, all your different post types. You can set up your content types, your weighting, uh, categories and tags to exclude, et cetera. Then what you, what you do after you create this supplemental search engine is 
you actually modify your template files or um, yeah, you, you modify your template files to use this supplemental search engine. So basically what I can do is make this search field use this search engine while all other search fields use the default search engine. Now, this does require modifying your actual template files, but um, it's really pretty simple to do. And if you are not familiar with it, I'm sure Jonathan Christopher will be happy to give you a demonstration or show you how it works uh, in the support forms. I believe they also talk about it in the documentation. So that's really cool. Uh, a, a great example of what you can do is use this for your default site search and then build a supplemental search engine for searching your products. Another supplemental search engine for searching just your documentation. Another supplemental search engine just for searching your support forms, things like that. So that you can build each of your, your, your search sections on your website are tailored specifically to what you're searching as opposed to one overall global search. And that is really, really powerful. So this is SearchWP. It's available from searchwp.com. And honestly, I cannot stress enough how fantastic this plugin is. Not only is it really well built, it has amazing functionality that absolutely superpowers your search results inside of WordPress and makes them really, really relevant based on what you need, not based on some arbitrary key ma keyword matching. So uh, my recommendation, go pick the plugin up. It's really inexpensive and you'll be absolutely thrilled with it.